Welcome to the Nativo Cholom Shir. We're going to continue studying since uh, Rosh Hashanah is this coming Sunday night. Mm-hmm. We're going to be studying from the Nativo Cholom from this uh, this book. Uh, first part of the study is going to be at the end of Parsha's uh, Devorim, the book on Devorim. He has a number of things on Elul. And the one we're going to study today is Shabbos Shilifnei Rosh Hashanah, the Shabbos that falls before Rosh Hashanah, and that is on page 261 of the Nativo Cholm of that particular volume. Now, it's very timely because this Shabbos is the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah starts Sunday night. This Shabbos, as we're going to learn in a moment, presents us with phenomenal opportunities that we don't have on any other Shabbos of the year. So it's a very, very special Shabbos, one that one has to really get uh, totally involved in. Uh, Literally, you should make it, every Shabbos should be high. And every Shabbos after the previous one should be the highest Shabbos you've ever had. But this should really be the highest Shabbos of the year in terms of your getting close to Hashem. So let's see what, what the Nativo Cholom says. Moron Admar Bebeis Avraham Zechus Yegleinu Amar Amad Amar Begmora. The Gemara says, Yom Echad Beshana Chashuv Keshana. One day in the year is like a whole year. Shafil Biyomo Achron Shel Hashana. Even on the last day of the year, Efshar letakein is kol hashana. You can repair everything that you've done wrong the entire year. Vakoshkein, and more so, b'shabas v'achron, on the last Shabbos. Shavadai efshar la'alos ba es kol shabbosos hashana. For sure, you're able to raise up on that on this last Shabbos all of the Shabbosim of the year. V'yesh lehosi v'alkach. He goes on to say, we can add to this. Shomil v'ad ma she'efser l'takin b'shabbos v'achrona es hashana she'chalfa. Not only are you able to to repair on this last Shabbos the 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 year that is now changing, but are you gam hashar v'achana likrat hayamim anoroim shal shara chadoshes? Not only are you repairing what has been before the shabbos that have been before, but you are now opening the gate, the gate, and the preparation to meet and to start the yomim anoroim, the holy days of awe between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur of the new year. As a Jew stands before Rosh Hashanah. The, the pressing question that he has is How do I, what do I have to do to be able to meet the king of the world? Leom Hazeh Hagadol Vahanora, Leom Hashem Hagadol Nora. How do I get to to come into this day of greatness and awesomeness to Hashem? Beich Yavo Shuv, and and how else can I? How do I again? Beyapil Tchinosu. How do I make my prayers accepted? I'll call in Yonav Hamayikim on all the the deep things that have gone on during the year. How do I reach the level of having my prayers accepted for all the things that I've done? How do I make this happen knowing that I've done all kinds of things that have separated me and have put a, a barrier between me and Hashem by virtue of the things I've done wrong during the year? Al-Chaini goes on, Hashar Lekach, the gateway to do this, the gateway to be able to reach Hashem despite the horrible things that you've done, it's Ayyadeh Hashabbos Hazos. 
is from this particular Shabbos. This Shabbos that's coming up. Gedisa b'sifrei kodesh ber mayim chayim, as it says in the in the sefer ber mayim chayim, the parsha netzavim in the parsha of netzavim, al yisod mamar hazor kodesh, as the zor holy zor says, kol berchon de leela v'sata b'yom shvia tiluyin, all of the blessings, all of the blessings of above and below, come to us on this Shabbos day. We've learned this many times before. We have the opportunity to have all the blessings come to us on this Shabbos. Shekal hanyonim habachinos hashaychim lemeshach hashvua because we learn that all of the things that are connected with the week, uh, the week that is to come after this Shabbos, hakol nasa v'nimshach v'shabbos kodesh shlif nekein. Everything that has happened in the week Everything that's happened the week comes from the Shabbos that happened before this. Shabbos Hagadol. We know that the Shabbos before Pesach is called Shabbos Hagadol, the Great Shabbos. Bo Yordim Kol Ha'arod Chag Pesach, because in that Shabbos all of the the light and all of the energy of Pesach comes down. Okamokein and similarly, the Shabbos Lifnei Rosh Hashanah, the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. Nimshachin v'yordim kol inyana inyani Rosh Hashanah. We are able to connect, uh, and they, we're, we're we're encompassed with all of the aspects of Rosh Hashanah. The Cholashon Hakodesh, and as it says, Shagam be Shagam be Yom Hagadol Hanora, as Mishpat Amo Yisrael, at the time of great, this great uh, time of a great day, an awesome day. When this is the time for judgment of the people of Israel, Rosh Hashanah, on Rosh Hashanah, v'itzavta chayosim upon Oseim, b'zon Oseim, and when the the decree is made for what their what their life will be in the coming year, what our life will be in the coming year, what our uh, material uh, wealth will be, what our livelihood will be, how we're going to be able to eat, hine akol nasa v'nimshach b'shabbos levar. All of this happens. All of this is set into place the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. This is this is the power of us. Unbelievable power in this Shabbos. All of the high levels that are that are accustomed to, to, to we find on Rosh Hashanah, Kalashan Chazal, as as our sages have said, Shukulam Niskarim Beskira Achas. They 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 all come. Uh, together, behind us should call on Hashemos Overas Kibyachal of Nei Kodesh Baruch It's as if all all of us pass all of the, all of the souls of the Jewish people pass before Hashem. By Kodesh Baruch Hu, Mapit at Kol Adam by Adam, and Hashem looks at every single person. But no Saint Lois Shayach Elav, and He gives to that person what is uh, fitting for that person. Lefi Shoresh Nishmos according to the the root of his soul, Hare Hadarga Hazos, this level that we always we associate with with Rosh Hashanah itself, when Hashem is looking at what he's saying in the Musaf, uh, in the Sana Tokev, we say the Sana Tokev prayer where it says everybody's passing like a, a shepherd counts his sheep, and Hashem decides who will live, who will die, who will be hungry, who will eat, etc., uh, etc. Et Nonetheless, all of that happens on this on this Shabbos. Harihi uh, Hashar Vamuva Rosh Hashanah. This is the gate and the entranceway to Rosh Hashanah. Vimke Lechura. Therefore, Harigam Lagabe Shabbos Kodesh Nitzavet Oto Hashela. So, therefore, with regard to this Shabbos, this question remains: Heich Anpin Yekumu Kamei Malka. How do we come before the King? Heich Ikonis the Shabbos Kodesh Hashem. How do we get to Shabbos itself? Uh, when we know that Shabbos is is high is the highest of all levels, Colossians Zemer Yo Exov, Shabbos Kodesh, Nafshos Yisrael, but Sel Ken Efechi So when we are on Shabbos, the the souls of Bnei Yisrael are under the shadow of, of the wings of Hashem. Yerven Midesh and Beisecha, they are. They are sheltered there, 
and they are protected and they are able to enjoy the, the fullness of his house. Pinyano al pi de isa b'toros avos, as it says in Toros avos, shabbos shabbos habachina shamelech malas pano lehechal kulo omer kavod. On Shabbos, the king, the king is lifting up his son, his daughter, his child, to his holy place, where everything is for the glory of Hashem. He's raising us up. V'yom tov, hu b'china shamelech yoreid al b'no b'mokom shuhu. Yom Tov is different. Yom Tov is the aspect of Hashem going down to where we are. But behind the Shabbos Kodesh, but on Shabbos, Ma'ala Kodesh Baruch Es Yehudi Elav, Hashem brings us closer to Him. Not that He's going out to find us where we are, He's actually bringing us into His holy chamber. The B'chinus Mamar Kosov, as it says, V'esu Eschem Al-Kamfei Neshorim, Povi Eschem I will carry you, I'll lift you, on the wings of eagles, and bring you to me. Vavim bezeh, we have to understand this, ki Shabbos Kodesh hi bechinas benzu. As we've talked about before, the Holy Shabbos is like a, a, a couple who are married. Kedisa bechazal, as the sages have taught us, Knesset Yisrael hi benzu kha. B'nei Yisrael is the spouse of Hashem. Hashem, uh, so to speak, brings the Jew to his to him, raises him up to a level as if he's coming into his house. Shabbos Kodesh, Nafshos Yisrael, B'Tzel Kedavechi Yaksayun. This is what it means. Holy Shabbos, the souls of B'nai Yisrael are, are sheltered in the shadow of your wings. Yirvim Yideshin Beisecha. And they are enjoying the, the sustenance, the fullness of, of your house. B'Tzel Kedavechi Yaksayun. They are sheltered in the... In the and the shadow of your wings, Omar Kodesh Borchu, as we said, Hashem Malas Yehudi Elav, Hashem brings the, the Jew to him, and the Jew on Rosh Hashanah is found in the in the palace of the king. And he's he's uh, sheltered under the wings of his of his and under the shadow of his wings. And because of this, because of this, this being sheltered, being brought to the, the innermost part of the palace of Hashem, he's able to enjoy the fullness of his house. Since he's found higher, uh, this high level in the house of the king, he's able to feel the joy of of taking part of the fullness of his house, of, of fully enjoying all that Hashem has given us. As it says in Yeshayahu, if you will uh, be careful on Shabbos not to do anything that you're not supposed to do on Shabbos. And it goes on a little bit more, but it finishes by being careful to keep my Shabbos then you'll be able to enjoy the, the full joy of Shabbos with, with God. Shu'atanu ha'gadol biyoter. This is the greatest joy, more because ha'tanugim shu'olam, more than any joy you can think of in the world, the joy of being closer to Hashem on, on Shabbos. Bod isi barambam, the Rambam says, b'gadol inyan Shabbos Kodesh, talking about the greatness of Shabbos. Shekosav sham batam, uh, he writes there the reason Why is it that on Shabbos during Musaf, during the Musaf service, we when it was when we were still in the base of Migdish, when they offered Karbonos at the Musaf service and various other parts of the day, they had a special a special korban that they offered for a, a sin offering on, on Yantiv. But on Shabbos we don't do that. It's just why don't we do that? Why don't we do this? 
Sheish Mavusaf and Mesir Chatos, unlike other holidays where you do offer that, that sin offering. And the answer is, Vahu Lafi Shabbos Shabbos, because on Shabbos, Kness Yisrael Hayu Baz Zugo, on Shabbos, Bnei Yisrael is like the spouse of Hashem. But calls Shalom, and everything is peaceful. Everything is peaceful and everything is good. Maskil uh, Yavin, and, and uh, the one who is, uh, is able to uh, understand this with his intellect will understand what we're saying here. Bahainu, therefore, Meshum Sha'al called Peshoim, Techasahavan. What it means is on all of your sins that you've done before Shabbos, the love of Shabbos that Hashem gives to you is covering up all of those sins. Balkain ain't sorech sayer lechatos lechaper. There's no sin offering needed to atone for you. Vafil abar vodazor kador enosh mochin lo. As we've learned many times, even if you're the greatest idol worshiper, you have been the greatest idol worshiper, and you come to Hashem and tshuva on Shabbos, Hashem will forgive you. Valkain hashar. And therefore, the, the gate and the preparation to come into the, these days of awe, who be Shabbos Kodesh, Shakodim Rosh Hashanah, is in the Shabbos that's before Rosh Hashanah. The fish is Shabbos, because on Shabbos, Mala Kodesh Porch is Yehudi, Hashem raises up the Jew, the Metziot, Shalamala Mikal Hasega, to a reality that is higher than anything you could even think of. And through this, you're also able to come into Rosh Hashanah. And the foundation of this, what Sina we find, the Gam came by Parsha of Satshuva, and the Parsha of, of Tshuva. We know between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the Shabbos is called Shabbos Tshuva. Uh, it's called Shabbos Tshuva because you're asked you know, it's, it's a time where you're repenting, you're you're returning to God. It's also called Shabbos Shuvah because of Haftorah, Torah. It starts out Shuvah Shuvah El Hashem, return, return to Hashem. It says you shall return to Hashem your God. If you're pushed away from one end of the earth to the other from Hashem. Hashem will gather you from there, and will take you from there to Him. It says, If you're, if you're so far removed to the ends of the of the heavens, I'll be different as our Kodesh. As the Holy Zohar said, Shekatsa Hashemayim. The, uh, the, being, the the far end of heaven, being removed from heaven, is the, the aspect of Yesod, which is morality. Even though you're pushed away as far as you can go, you've had many, uh, many slip-ups in your morality. From there, Hashem will still pull you back, bring you closer to him. Uh, he will pull the, the pushed away of B'nai Yisrael. The Sorech beer, and you have to understand, he says, Eich, muela tshuva al-kach. How can you do tshuva for this? Sharisa Bezor HaKodesh, it says in the Zohar, ki tshuva ene muelas apagam meilas. You can't do tshuva for some of these immoral things that you've done. It's talking about sexual immorality. Ki im tshuva ila. Uh, but only with a higher tshuva, higher level of tshuva. We are no and we understand, we explain by this, shakavona kam, the intention here is, the tshuva, shemitz Torah falea koach shabbos kodesh. It's a tshuva that we, you, you are combining with it the power of Shabbos. Hamala darga tshuva ilah, that brings you up to a level, a higher level of, of tshuva, returning to Hashem. It was written, You shall return to Hashem. The, the word 
Veshabbos is, is the uh, same letters as Veshavta you shall return. She'ain adam netar minatuma. Apanimi. A man cannot, a person cannot purify himself from the internal uh, tuma, the internal uncleanliness, the internal defects, el bakoach Shabbos Kodesh, except through the power of Shabbos. Shabo meyer nitzo sashchina benishmas yudi, because on Shabbos the, the sparks of Hashem are, are lit up in the soul of a Jew. Banitzos hazeh, and these sparks, metares pinimios habagamim, will purify these inner defects. Balpidash yesh lefaresh od, you can also explain, sh'ayidei ha-tshuva, mitzorif koach Shabbos Kodesh, by combining tshuva with, with the power of Shabbos. Harei af imiyini lechach b'kitzei ha-shemayim, if you're pushed far away, binyanim, shebishari mos ha-shvua, eim b'efshu l'shuva lehem, during and such things, you've done such bad things that during the rest of the days of the week, you have no chance of being able to come, to come close to Hashem. But on Shabbos, the power of Shabbos, Hashem will take you from the farthest places that you are, the farthest uh, places that you've gone in, in uh, what you have done to create divisions between yourself and Hashem. Because on Shabbos, you're able to return to do tshuva for these things. Because Shabbos, Holy Shabbos, is the aspect of the higher tshuva. Valkain, therefore, I feel ever about Azore, Kedor Enosh, Mokhan Lo, even the greatest idol worshiper of the generation of Enosh, will be forgiven. Valkal Peshoim Techasa Haba, and all of your sins will be covered with love. Following on this, Biarnu Adam Rebbe Midrash. We can understand what it says in the Midrash. Shachar Shahareg Kain as Hevel. After Kain killed his brother Hevel. Pagabo Adam Harishon. His father, Adam Harishon, met him. Hormelay, and he said, Masa Bedincha, what happened to your, with your judgment? Hormelay, he said, Asishi Tshuva. Manish Pesharti, I did tshuva, I repented, and I worked out a deal with Hashem. Hitkelam Rishim metapeach apanu. So Adam Rishim was astonished, astonished by this, and he started hitting himself on his face. Oh boy, why did I know this? Amar says, "Kacha yakochos shel tshuva." This is the power of tshuva. Ani lo yaiti yadet. I didn't know this. You know, I could have done tshuva also on on what I did by. By blaming my wife uh, for for doing something by hiding from Hashem, I could have just done tshuva. Miad, Amar Adam Rishon, Amar. So right away, Adam Rishon got up and he said, "Mizmor Shir Liyom Shabbos." It's part of Tilim, but it's, it's tradition says that Adam Rishon first did this. Mizmor Shir Liyom Shabbos. Alachora ain't moving. Ha'inyan shemitok shenodelo gadol kochushal shal tshuva. I don't understand, he says. I don't understand. Because because of the great strength of tshuva, patach vorm mizmor shalom ha-shabbos, he starts saying mizmor shalom ha-shabbos. Yesh lomor, habir bezeh, we can explain this by saying, shalom harishon, shalom manas habidinach, bedincha. He asked, kind, what has happened with your judgment? Ainu mai tikanascha la'acher shaharag te'asachim. What has been your you repair your tikkun after you kill your brother. It's, this is a, a, a very serious uh, sin. Tshuva doesn't fall, doesn't really help on this. So how can you have, how can you have done something? I did tshuva and I made a deal with my creator. It's a language of an agreement. A mediated agreement. Shav she bechol hashvua nigzralav na v'nad tiabarts. Even though all week long he he had to he he was cursed with being a wanderer and a fugitive in all the land. Liot manutak meyashoresh being disconnected from his roots with Hashem. Avabavos Shabbos kodesh when Shabbos came in. 
who chozer v'shava machono. He returned uh, and and came back to his place. Kamama amor and ashab kodesh milchavos hoskaleni, as he said, al apostek vayasim Hashem lekainos. Hashem gave to Kain uh, an os, a sign. Shu os, what was the os? Os Shabbos kodesh. It was the os of Shabbos, sign of Shabbos. Shomer al kach adam arishon, and when Adam Rishon is standing on this, and he hears this. Patah, he begins. Omar mizmer shiru b'shabbos. He says mizmer shiru b'shabbos. Shira, he sees shaf la'acher chet kazeh shall harigat harigat ach. And even after the the great sin of kill, killing your brother, v'acher shenigzer alav novanad tibar. It's after Hashem decreed that he's going to be a wanderer and a fugitive throughout the land. We call malkum yesh pishara. Although nonetheless there was a a settlement over this. Shayidei Tshuva, the Shabbos Kodesh, Yashul So because of doing Tshuva on Shabbos, he was able to return to his root and be connected with Hashem. Mikan Ras Godol Koko Shal Tshuva Aidea Shabbos Kodesh. From here we see the power of Tshuva through the through through Shabbos. Valkane, therefore Patach Vomar Mizmor Shriel Meshabbos, therefore a Hamarishim started saying Mizmor Shiel Meshabbos, this song of Shabbos, Tov Lahodos Lashem. It is good to praise Hashem. Agodol Madregos Shabbos Kodesh on the 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 greatness of the level of Shabbos that it can have such an effect of even covering all of those those horrible sins with love. Amar Chazal, and our sages said Amar Kodesh Baruch Hu Moshe. Shem said to Moshe, "Matana tov yeshti bebeis genazai. I have a special present, a good present in my storage house. The Shabbos Shemo, and Shabbos is its name. Bani Chafetz legally so I want to give it to Bnei Yisrael. Lech vahodiam, go and tell them about it. Perish lech vahodiam. That means go and tell them. Ki etake in chodem yimtze began Eden, beinu neheneshan, because it seems that a, a person could be in." In Gan Eden, and he doesn't, he's not enjoying it there. He doesn't know even that he's in Gan Eden, in the Garden of Eden. Here on Shabbos, a Jew is coming into the Hechel, the, 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 the palace of the king. And unfortunately, there are people who don't even realize where they're at, and they don't feel anything about it. The Kacham Lea Kodesh Bohu, therefore Hashem said the Moshe to Moshe, Lech Vodiam, go and tell them. Ainu Shotodi Elohim, go and tell them, Shiyadu of Yavinu, they should know and understand, now Erech HaShabbos, what the worth and the value of Shabbos is. The Elu Madregos Eli, Nimtza Yehudi B'Shabbos Kodesh, on such high levels that a Jew can find himself on Shabbos. Well, on Bakokhal Agi B'Shabbos Kodesh, and through that you're able to come into the, the power of, of Shabbos, through the power of Shabbos, Shochel Atar Lagamri Mikol Pagamov HaGaruim Biyot, you're able to get rid of, uh, you're able to purify all of those bad things that you've done. Kamo Kain, therefore, Harizeh Chiyuv HaKal Yehudi. It's an obligation to every Jew, Lechav HaHodiyem, Lech HaHodiyem, go and tell them. Shemachayev lis bonein. Every Jew has to understand. Ulahamik, and to take into his depths, but godol erech kedusha the Shabbos, the value of the holiness of Shabbos. Uvichlal zeh, and with this, kam ledas he should know she yashar lechal yom kedusha that Shabbos is the gateway to all of these holy days. By yomim and arayim kedusha, and the days of the holy days of awe that we're coming into. So therefore, you have things to do on this Shabbos. It's tremendous, makes tremendous opportunity. We're going to go now just a little bit on Rosh Hashanah and the next. Uh, we're going to go now back to the uh, the Tivot Shalom, the second book, Sefer Beit. And we're going to learn just a little, a little uh, uh, Torah from the Tivot Shalom on page Kuf Chof Hey. One 
You passed it. You passed it. Keep going. There you go. Okay, so this is this is entitled Tekiah Vishmiya, blowing and hearing. And obviously, the the great mitzvah of the day of Rosh Hashanah is Tekiah Shofar, the blowing of the shofar. Right? It's the it's the highlight of the day. It's it's a mitzvah that you're commanded, uh, and it's a very interesting mitzvah. We'll talk about it here. So he goes on, he starts, as we do with any mitzvah, make a bracha. We make a bracha recognizing that this mitzvah is a way that Hashem uh, is making us holy through his mitzvahs and bringing us closer to him. And the, the bracha for the shofar is asher ki deshanu b'mitzvosah, who has made us holy with his commandments, but Sivanu has commanded us, Lishmoa called Shofar, to hear the voice of the Shofar. Inyan Amru says, Lashon Lishmoa, language of hearing, Vlo Litoka, not, not to blow, but to hear. Kalashon Akosu, as the sentence says in the Torah, Tiku b'choda shofar. The Torah says you shall blow uh, on this month. You shall blow the shofar. But the mitzvah it says in the bracha to hear, not to blow. Hukmoshomer b'zeh harambam harosh v'atar. And the, these these three great uh, uh, sages, Acharonim, uh, Rambam, the Rosh, and the Tor. Says the lav b'tekia talia milsa ela b'shmiya. Blowing the shofar isn't the the is what the thing depends upon, but rather the hearing. Mochach mohad the tokei ela tochabor. For example, if somebody's blowing a shofar in a pit, or the toch uh, adot. Uh, he's blowing in a place where he's uh, he's not hearing the sound of the shofar, he's hearing an echo. He's not uh, he's not yotz, he doesn't fulfill it. He blows for himself. If he doesn't hear it, he's blowing the shofar. He's in a pit blowing it, but he doesn't hear it because uh, he hears the echoes bouncing off the wall. He doesn't hear the shofar itself. Lo uh, yotza. Uh, or even if he's if he's sitting standing in a pit and putting the shofar outside, the sounds going outside, he's not hearing it. Uh, he's not yotz; he hasn't fulfilled the mitzvah. So, from the language of the of the of the Torah, tiku b'chodesh shofar, the where it says you shall blow, and the in this chodesh you shall blow the shofar. Lamadim anu, it teaches us sheyesh b'shofar gam inyan tekiya nosef alashmiya. It teaches us that there's an aspect of blowing also uh, in addition to, to hearing. And the explanation uh, is uh, as follows. Dinyan the Shmo calls shofar. The aspect of listening to the voice of the shofar. Who Kamoshomar Moram Babesa Avram Zakusalainu Per Parshas Vyakra. The parsha, he says in the, in the parsha by Yikra, actually it says, by Yikra el Moshe v'yadabra Hashem elav that Hashem called to Moshe and spoke to him. Dechsev by Yikra b'lashen nistar. It's kind of a hidden language. Below uh, perish mi hakori doesn't say who's calling. It doesn't say by Yikra Hashem el Moshe. Hashem called to Moshe. It's by Yikra he called to Moshe. Hainu dechol kriyas shiv olam. Every other, every other calling in the world, Shemosha Rabbeinu Shama, where that Moshe heard, Miyad, right away, Miyad, Yada, he knew, Shehu, Yadabar Hashem Elav. He knew that, that Hashem was speaking to him. Shehu, Dabar Hashem, Akorilo, Hashem was calling him, he's Karam Elav to come closer to him. Call him Orot, over him, Ali Shehu, the, all of the, uh, uh, all of the awakenings 
uh, all the things that happen to a Jew. Kulam heim kariya, meyes Hashem yisbora. She is karavil yisbora. When you when you have a a thought that uh, kind of raises you to a higher level, you have something that comes into your mind. Uh, it's waking you up to something. Understand that that is Hashem calling to you to come closer to Him. Heim orot shel simcha. This is the awakening of joy. Shem Kriya, it's, it's a call, these karyal Hashem Yisbura, we talk simple, it's a, it's, a, it's a call of joy, a call to you, to the Jew, to come close to Hashem through joy. Vehein ham oros shal yisorim v'agmas nefesh. And there's also a call, an awakening that one gets from, from troubles and difficulties and pain. Dafilu etzbo, ein adam nokev, Hashem is so in charge of the world that even your slightest finger doesn't move unless Hashem decrees from above that you should be able to move that finger. That's from the Gemur and Chulim. By day there, Mr. This it said, "V'shavto ad Hashem lekecha, you should return to Hashem v'shomat b'kolu and hear His voice." Atzara Rishon Shel Tshuva, the first part of Tshuva, who the Shamat B'kolo is to listen to his voice. Shehudi Yazin L'Kol Hashem, Amadabrela, the Jew has to listen to the voice of Hashem that's speaking to him. Ubezeh, Yesh Lano Perush HaKosu, we can understand where it says, Rei Anochi Nosein Lifnechem Hayom, Behold, I put before you today bracha uklala, the bracha, the blessing and the klala and the curse. As a bracha asher tishmun, the blessing that you shall listen. Makora bracha, the main aspect of a blessing, who shall show me as kol Hashem, that you shall hear the voice of Hashem, ayotzi mehar chorev, yom yom, that comes out of. Mount Sinai every single day. And the Baal Shem Tov, Baal Shem Tov asks that question, as we know, the Mora says, this is what it's alluding to, there's a baskol, a voice, that comes out every day from Chore, telling the Jew, what are you doing, why don't you wake up and, and serve me? Um, and he asks, what good is a voice if you can't hear it? What good is a voice if you can't hear it? And he says, no, this, this voice makes an impression on your heart. It wakes you up. Even though you can't hear it, it's there. And now he's talking about a similar kinds of thing, but where you have, you know, you have many times in, in life that a situation will cause you to think differently, will cause you to do something differently. It will wake you up. It'll give you a wake-up call, as we say. That's, that's the concept. A core love, it calls to you. Ore levamos pnei Israel. It wakes up the heart of the children of Israel. Vimlo shomim. So that's the bracha. That's the bracha which says, I said before you, a bracha and a kola, a blessing and a curse. Vimlo shomim is kola Hashem. And if you don't listen to the voice of Hashem, zed gufwa kola. This actually is the, this is what is meant by the curse. Not listening to Hashem is the curse itself. Pinyin zehim yisodi avodas Hashem. This is a fundamental principle of, principle of serving Hashem. Nechlal b'kosev, it says in the Torah, Hashem you shall go after Hashem your God, you shall fear Him, as mitzvos of tishmoro, you shall uh, observe and keep His mitzvos, uvekolo tishmo, you shall listen to His voice, for also to ovdo, uvodidko, and you shall serve Hashem, and then you shall cleave to Him. All these things, are what you need. So Shiesh Makshim, they ask, Makamanas Omer Bakol Tishma. What is what is the intent of saying you shall hear his voice? Akhre Shikvar Nimnu Khan Bipasuk Khan Yenavodas Hashem. After you already mentioned all the things that you have to do to 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 serve Hashem. Uh, to keep his mitzvahs, right? So what what does the listening have to do with it? Amnam Kamar Bakol Tishmo, where the reason it says Bakol Tishmo, who Tsivui Miyucha Lishu, it's a Unique commandment to a Jew to listen to Hashem's voice. Uh, 
all of the mitzvahs of the Torah, Yakshi Vayishma Vakola Hashem Adover Lav Tomi. Over and above all of the mitzvahs of the Torah, a Jew has to pay attention to the voice of Hashem that's always, always talking to him. Kichol Mashehu Shomea, all that he hears, Kichol Mashehu Shikorelo, everything that happens to a Jew, Mimoro to Olam, the Chlal of a Prat is an awakening in general or specifically, a call who Kriya Meis Hashem is Everything is a call from Hashem. You have to recognize that as a wake up call from Hashem. Matzivu Hazer, Choser, Benishana, Arbe Palme Mator. And this, this commandment is repeated uh, and, and said many times in the Torah, Kiu Makora Brokh, because that is the main aspect of the, the blessing to be able to recognize that Hashem is speaking to you and to be able to listen to Hashem. To hear Hashem speaking. Vizanyan calls shofar. And this is the aspect of the voice of the shofar. Shu kol Hashem hakore barosh Hashem. This is the voice of Hashem calling us to Rosh Hashanah. Calling the Chalish Yehudi. Calling to every Jew. Lach sor el makoro v'shor. So to return to his source, uh, to his roots. Kamoshama Rambam, as the Rambam says, Afal pisha tekiya shofar barosh Hashanah. Even though the blowing of the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, we, we just learn by comparing one sentence to another in the Torah. Uh, it's not a specific command. Rem is yeshpo, but there's a, a hint at it. Klomer, it says, Oro yeshenim, mishenaschem, v'nir damim, v'nir damim yikitsu, v'nir damim, he says, wake up, you sleepers, from your deep sleep. Yikitsu uh, mitromad, mit." Uh, wake up from your, your uh, almost like an anesthetic, you're anesthetized, you're, you're uh, totally out of it. And, and look after your deeds, uh, examine yourself, examine what you've done, and then return to tshuva. So you have that wake up call, waking up first, telling you, look at yourself, take a cheshbo nefesh, do an accounting of yourself, see what you can do, what you've done wrong, and what, how you can fix it. This is a, a calling one time in the year. The voice of Hashem that comes out of the shofar, calls to a Jew, uh, wake up you sleepers, uh, you, are who, you who are totally without, real, without realizing where you are. Wake up from your anesthetized state. Even though you have many sins, you can still return to Hashem in tshuva. But if you let your days uh, and your years pass over uh, in a in a daze. Like uh, you're a drugged state, harilo to ilu at tshuva, the tshuva won't do any good. Kdei lashi yom avishnosa shavur matadama to return your days uh, to get out of this this stupefied state that you're in. Bezos segulus vavodos hayom. This is the the benefit and the service of this day. Bezo mitzvah lishmo as kol shofar. This is the mitzvah of listening to the voice of the shofar. Lachchi lekol Hashem to pay attention. The voice of Hashem, a Kori Lehudi B'Kol HaShofer, who calls to the Jew in the voice of the Shofer Kadesh, he akansu advorim ba'ozne levavo, that these words shall come into the ears of your heart. The Zemarumas, this is also in the Agamba Pasuk, in this Pasuk it says, V'yishmu is kol HaShem elokech mishalich pagan. And they heard the voice of this again refers to Adam HaRishon after the the hate of the Das, the tree of knowledge, after that sin, they heard the voice of Hashem walking in the garden. The Ruach Hayom, the heat of the day. The Yom Odedin, this was the day of, of judgment. Biyom Zeh Shomea Ish Yehudi Es Kol Hashem Hayotzi Me'ashofar. On this day of judgment, which is Rosh Hashanah, a Jew hears, a Jew hears the voice of Hashem that comes out of the shofar. And we, we see that Adam and his wife, 
uh, hid, try to hide from Hashem. He didn't put in his heart he didn't, he didn't take to heart what Hashem was trying to tell him with his voice. He didn't listen to Hashem as he tried to hide from Hashem instead of doing that which would correct his misdeeds. And Hashem called to the person and he says, Ayeka, Ayeka. Where are you? Ayeka. What's going to happen with you? Even on Rosh Hashanah, even though on Rosh Hashanah you hear the voice of Hashem coming out through the sound of the shofar, you're hiding and running away from Hashem. Hashem is always asking us, Ayeka, where are you? Where are we? Where are we? Ayeka, where are you on your service of Hashem? Are you hiding from Hashem? Are you trying not to listen to Hashem? Hashem is giving you all these clues. The the letters of Shofar also spell out the the phrase Shofar also spell out the the phrase Shoresh Por Rosh Lana means the uh, uh, the gall and the worm the wormwood uh, uh, refers to the inner. Uh, aspect of, of evil. I don't know if evil is the right word. Inner aspect of not wanting to do what is right. Because the shofar is waking up a Jew. Telling a Jew to remove the, the inner aspects of things that are making him do wrong from, from inside of him. His, his propensity to do wrong. That propensity should be completely removed. The shofar is telling us to do that. Hello, the shofar. If it wasn't for the shofar, the Jew could just go through his life uh, and never remove from the depths of himself the, the, the problems that he has, that, the propensity to do bad. The Zebo call a chauffeur. For this, the chauffeur comes Lazarzo to warn him, to, to wake him up on this. The word chauffeur also comes from the, the language of Shipru, repair your deeds. That with the voice of the chauffeur, we have two possibilities. We have one possibility that helps us to turn from evil. La koras hashoresh pora ora shalana to take out that evil within us. The heim ba seitov. The other part is to do good. Shipru ma sechem to to repair your deeds. Uvaris lo lo sofer and don't don't lo lo tofar don't uh, uh, violate the covenant of Hashem. The chal yudi esh inyam yuchad besur meira inyam yuchad ba seitov. Every Jew has a Unique ability in turning away from evil and in doing good. Hashaychem v'shoresh not nishmos. It's all connected to the root of your neshama. Shebeshvilam you are lolam because for that you were you came down to this world to be able to turn away, be able to turn away from from uh, those things that are bad. Sur me rabba yetsahar machkia. That's called kochos. Shehudi yet kamo yashem v'nirdam v'nyanim elu. The Yetzir Hora works overtime to see to it that the Jew continues to sleep and to be in a daze. Shame on Nakuda That's 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 important because if a Jew is in a sleep, unaware of what's going what's going on around them, has no no concept of what he's doing connected to Hashem, then the Yetzir Hora is one. By Yezeh Korelov Kola So here we. We sound this. We it happens the sound of the shofar. Oro yeshi yeshani mishnas mishnaschem. Wake up, you sleepers, from your sleep. Mazerim lishmo calls shofar, and this is the aspect of hearing the sound of the shofar payers. Lishmo es hakriya to hear the call. Shakaris bar korel ish yehudi biomazer that uh, Hashem calls to to each Jew on on this day. Uh,
we're going to stop here. There's more to it, but we're going to stop here. The key, the key is listen to the voice of Hashem. Wake up. Wake up from your sleep. You know, start doing it this Shabbos. Shabbos before Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah. Listen to the sound of the shofar that it come. Let the sound of the shofar reach every fiber of your body and wake up every fiber of your body to serve Hashem, to say that I'm going to be different. I'm going to improve. No matter how good I think I may be, I can do a lot better. Do a lot better in service of Hashem. Take that cheshpo nefesh. Take the economy of yourself. Listen to the wake-up calls. Hashem gives us a wake-up call for a reason. Take advantage of it. I wish everybody a shana tova matuka, a sweet, good year, a year in which Hashem gives to all humanity a blessing of, of peace in this entire world. Amen. Amen.